Friday, I'm just on my way to a gym class. I'm on my way to Pilates. And guys, today is like the first day of summer. Do you remember last week when I went to the gym and I literally had 14 layers on and it was pissing it down with rain? This girlie has got no layers on. <laughs> and I am loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Although I do actually have to sort out my, my membership today because I actually just, the, basically the gates have been broken so I've just been going into the class without signing in at reception and I have a penalty on my account <laughs> which means that I can't book day anymore I've got one week left with my husband before he goes away on tour I was hoping to like maybe plan something nice for us to do like a cute little date night he'll be going for almost two weeks so yeah a bit mad gonna try and keep myself very busy so I don't go crazy honestly guys what a beautiful day look <clears throat> I actually even though today is Friday, I'm pretty free today besides this gym class. I'm working tomorrow and Sunday, so I feel like it's okay if I have a bit more of a chill day today. I don't know. I'm just going to take you guys along with me. I hope you don't mind. I do really want to like go on a picnic. <gasps> I'm going to go on a bike ride. Oh my god. Of course I am. That's it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go on a bike ride and have a little picnic and chill out in the sun. That honestly is the best idea that I have had. Oh yeah. Okay, right guys, I actually think I'm gonna have to hurry up because I'm gonna be late. <laughs> and that's one thing about me. You can always expect me to be five minutes late. No more, but that sweet five minutes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry if I look like shit or my boobs are greeting you. I am in the park and I actually just had an email come through about a job offer that I got and I'm still humming and umming about it. Be starting from September I also had another job offer come through so I just want to like find out a little bit more about that. I know I'm being really vague right now I just don't want to speak too much out here the evil eye say no more am i right so instead i thought why don't we have some lunch sorry i'm being so quiet because my thoughts are being really loud you understand what i'm looking at okay i'm gonna go behind my plate just contemplating Hello, we meet again. Okay, I'm being quite quiet again just because it's still quite early and my neighborhood is just so quiet for London. I don't want to be waking everyone up with my yapping. Anyway, guys, I got a job. Yay. And it's really cool. Like, I feel very grateful. They asked me to be a part of their team. So, yeah, I'm very excited. I'm going in for my like official training today. I also haven't had enough time this morning to do my makeup. So I'm going to attempt that on the tube, as usual to be honest with you. So today's Wednesday, we're in the studio Monday and Tuesday. And we just finished quite late. It's quite far away. So we usually get back home at around like midnight, 1am. We have some food, wind down. So I feel like I might need a little extra coffee today, um, but I'm just excited. Uh, I honestly could fall asleep right now. And it. ten. It's ten past ten. And today is Thursday, the 25th of July. Shh, it's my friend's birthday. Let me just quickly text her happy birthday because if I don't, then she might not be my friend anymore. 
did it. Okay, I'm really tired. Are you close enough? What if I bring you closer? Cool. A lot has changed since the last week that we met. I don't know if you know this or follow me on TikTok, where I think actually I probably yapped about it more than on here. But basically, I used to be a nanny. And I, and like four weeks ago, where everything was like a bit up in the air for me, freelance work was a bit quiet. And I met this family. And I met this family. And guys, they honestly... If you've ever nannied before, you will know. But honestly, like, they were just the perfect nanny family for me. I honestly was just like, these guys are amazing. Like, they were creative. They were fun. The kids were probably, like, the coolest kids I have ever met. But in, like, not a bratty way. Like, in, like, a genuinely interesting people kind of way. However... The contract was from Thursday, Friday, sorry, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And between those three days, they only could offer me seven hours guaranteed. On a rate that was £13 per hour. And I'm not gonna lie, it just wasn't kicking it for me. I also was working on a freelance basis with this amazing like art academy, a creative studio academy, like guys, they are so cool. And I never felt a way this way about a job before where I actually felt really excited to work alongside them and work within that environment. Listen, we all have got to work. Who's texting me? Oh, my friend, the one that I just texted, happy birthday. See, guys, it's nice to be good. It's nice to be good friends. Anyway, listen, we've all got to work, okay? We all have to make ends meet. We all have to make money somehow. The goal for me is always to be performing my music, singing my music, and recording my music. However, until I get to that point, I don't want to take my life in a disposable manner because I realized something for myself and I realized that a lot of creatives you hear them talk about you either you know you either move and you either move and create stuff from fear or from love. Billie Eilish kind of said that in the interview recently with Phineas or maybe not that recently but in like her one with Zane Lowe I think but she talks about farts which like, fair enough farts but you I feel like creators move for fear and through love from the years that I have had trying to create something for myself I realized that I don't move well in fear I the stuff that I create the stuff that I produce I don't move well in fear I move and create so well in love and what that means for me is being wholesome, really enjoying my time, making the best out of every situation, like loving my friends, loving my family, keeping my circle small, just feeling grateful and appreciative, having money, okay? But also like prioritizing myself and prioritizing my needs and, my, and what I want. Not in like, oh my god, this is a rat's race, I need to like get to B, I need to get to A, I need to fucking get to whatever. Because when I'm in that headspace and when I'm just genuinely in that place, number one, I'm not a happy person. Number two, the stuff that I produce isn't great because it's just motivated by fear and I just overthink it and it gets overwhelming and it doesn't thrive. It's TV, my cat, Steve Rassange. Do you know what, my cat, James, my husband, we, we were talking about this the other day. We don't see our cat. We don't see our cat as a cat. We see him more as like a roommate. And I really, I feel so connected to Stevie. So deeply connected that if I'm away for like two days or four days, like I can't do it. I get really sad because I miss him 
and they feel like he misses me. I'm fucking tired, you guys. Guys, I agreed for a job. The job, the like creative academy they were like hey we would actually love to work with you would you want to work with us i was like okay let me check my schedule real quick oh poor yeah i can work for you <laughs> no I'm checking okay anyway <sighs> Whoa, yeah, you can do this on an iPhone. Come on. Yeah, come here. You can come here. Yeah. Can make some biscuits. It's lovely. Yeah, why? Tell me. Good boy. Yeah, I love you. Look at me. I love you. Yeah, he's doing it back, but you can't see. I love you. I'm actually just gonna watch New Girl in bed and like pass out. Guys, just before I go, I just literally wanted to jump on here and say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much if you've come here again. I'm gonna do a thing every single Sunday. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please feel free to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, whatever. Guys, I'm literally at work and to be so quiet it's so embarrassing like i'm literally editing the vlog as we speak okay thank you so much and i'll see you next week bye